Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from Burton Bibles and today I want to look at uh, a Bible that I've used quite a bit uh, over, oh, must be over the last 25 uh, years since I was uh, a young Christian. Um, here is my old copy of it. It's rather beat up now and sun uh, sun bleached and, and sun baked. It's the Amplified uh, Bible. It's a translation that I uh, really enjoy using. Um, I tend to use it in conjunction with my KJV or whatever else it is that I'm using. I find the uh, the the translational notes really helpful. Uh, it helps to uh, give a bit of extra meaning, a bit of extra explanation, some context perhaps. Um, and, and I find it a useful study aid. It's by no means the only Bible that I read, of course. It's just used in conjunction with other Bibles to round out uh, my study and my understanding as I'm reading through the scriptures. So that's something that I've really enjoyed. This is the 1987 uh, Amplified Bible text. And in 2015, they updated this text. Um, and uh, here we have the Amplified Study Bible, which uses that 2015 uh, text. This uh, edition is from 2017. Um, this is the Amplified Study Bible. So as well as the Amplified Translation, which you have there in the paperback, uh, this edition also has at the bottom of the page some study notes. It has um, in, in passage uh, maps uh, and some tables, things like that. So some really useful study aids. Now, I've been using uh, this particular uh, book here over the last uh, two weeks um, since I came back off holiday and uh, I've really been enjoying using it. I've actually been reading it every day and I find that as I'm reading through my daily readings, I'm not only getting um, a nice clear sense uh, of the passage in terms of understanding whatever it is I'm reading and and over the last week or two, I've been going through Ezekiel, um, which has got some, you know, some really uh, meaty prophecy in there um, concerning the children of Israel uh, and Babylon and things like that. So it's been really nice. It's been handy to have this to hand and read through it in conjunction with that. So I'm a big fan of it. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, but let's take it down to the table. Let's have a little bit a better look at the text and the layout, the format, the properties uh, of this edition and uh, we'll give you some more thoughts then. Okay. Okay then guys, so here we have it, the Amplified Study Bible. Uh, this is from Zondervan, uh, 2017 uh, edition and uh, it is, as I've said already, a hardback, um, a hardback volume. There we go, it has uh, just a simple sort of vinyl covered um, hardback. Uh, nice and cheap. Uh, I think it retails for about £30 this, but you'll get it for a lot less than that, I dare say. Um, so it comes in this nice dust jacket, which uh, keeps everything nice and neat and tidy, I suppose. There's the IS, ISBN uh, and details uh, on the back. 10.5 point, uh, point type size. So a nice clear uh, font, and I have been reading it and can testify to the uh, to the nice clear um, text that's in this Bible. Uh, just a little word about dimensions. No, we don't usually uh, spend a lot of, lot of time on that uh, on this channel, mainly because I don't have a ruler. Uh, but I have got one, and it's 24 and a half centimeters tall, and it's about 17. And deep depth-wise, it is just under five centimeters deep, between four and a half and five centimeters, couple of inches. So it is a chunky, uh, a chunky Bible, chunky edition. Um, just be aware of that. Um, but primarily, a hardback like this is meant to sit on your on your shelf um, and be on your desk. So I don't really see this as a as a volume maybe that people will take around uh, take around the place. Um, but just so you know, there is actually a um, imitation leather. There are other versions of this Bible. I have one here. Um, and just to give you a quick look at it, there we go. That's an imitation leather one. Um, quite nice. Um, but this is a hardback. It's a nice low low cost point. As I said in my little introduction, this is the 2015, I think it was the major update, yeah, the 2015 text edition. Um, so this is the one that followed the 1987 um, edition from the Lockman Foundation. And inside, we're going to get some fairly um, uh, basic stuff in there. Little... Uh, uh, prefaces and introductions to the translation. Um, there's got some features of the Amplified Study Bible, which we'll pause on for a moment. So it tells you that obviously you're getting the Amplified, 
you're getting uh, more than 5,000 study notes, uh, theological notes, book introductions, cross-references, topical index, and full colour maps of Bible uh, lands. Now, as we move into the text, um, this is what we're going to get. Uh, we're going to get a book introduction, which says a bit of basic information about there. You know, it, it uh, tries to date the book, give you the author and the theme, uh, key verse, things like that. You know, your, your sort of basic study um, information. We have a, only a little bit of text here. Uh, and then we have the study notes, but of course this is the first first page of Genesis, so that there's going to be um, a, a, the introduction and some study notes as well. The thing that I've liked about this is, um, I mean, for example, we have the gap uh, theory sort of alluded to in the study notes, but it's not dogmatic. Um, it is. Uh, it's not saying this is what happened. This is what uh, we believe. So I quite like the fact that it's it's suggesting. It's letting you know that uh, there is something um, there that, that people believe uh, happened. So, but it's not being dogmatic and it's not telling you, oh, well, this is this is what, you know, happened. It says it is possible, you know. So I like that. Um, and here's an example of a more sort of standard page. Um, the text is very readable. Um, uh, the paper is, is quite thin. It would need to be because it is a chunky volume. Um, but the ghosting is is not bad at all. Um, it isn't it, from from what I can see. It's not line matched, uh, which is a little bit of an issue. There's a little bit of noise that comes through some of the pages. Some of them are better than others, of course. Um, but on the whole, I find the print and the paper perfectly acceptable in an, in an edition at this price point. Here's a nice example of a map that you will have in there, which shows some of Jacob's travels. Um, which comes at a you know at a at a convenient point in the text where Jacob is moving around, so you'll get nice contextual maps um, that go into uh, the Bible at convenient points. Um, no running headers uh, across the top, uh, no sort of notes underneath the chapter heading, but the the text is separated into broad sections. Um, it's a chapter and verse layout, so it's not paragraph layout, which I I prefer personally. And you'll get a little bit of information with the with this sort of chapter breakdown, the way it breaks the chapter down. Um, poetic um, sections like this, for example, are are laid out slightly differently. Um, and here we have the notes, the footnotes along the bottom again. And it just seems to pick up on certain things in the text. It will elucidate further down here. There's not, as you can see, there's not something for every verse. There's not something for um, even every other verse, really. It's just highlights um, that it will uh, further um, go into down here. Now, that's that's good. I suppose that's got pros and cons. You know, some people will prefer that because it's less intrusive. It's less dominating the text. Uh, other people will will prefer more notes if it is a study Bible. They would like a lot more notes in there. But, you know, this is what we're getting in this particular edition. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've liked reading this day to day, actually, um, because there isn't an abundance of notes. There's just enough there for me to enjoy reading the the amplified text um, and to get a little bit of extra there's some cross references down at the bottom of the page here as well so it's a really nice addition to read day to day to be in all honesty um as we just flick through uh, the pages here we'll have a look at uh, we'll have a look at some more um features um as i said there's not an abundance of things here we have a a bit of a, a breakdown to the psalms um as you can see here it's a fairly major book in the bible so they've spent a little bit of extra time just breaking the psalms down and uh giving you a bit of a an overview and a framework uh for those psalms uh here we have types of hebrew parallelism so the amplified version as some of you may or may not know it really looks at the original languages such as the hebrew and the greek and things like that and it tries to convey to the reader a little bit more than a straight translation would do. So it's giving you more sort of thoughts in brackets uh, in the text. So it, where here, where, for example, where it says trust in the Lord, it's got in brackets trust confidently in the Lord. So it's, it's just giving you that sort of little bit extra 
meaning. In, in here it says, be still. Uh, meditate in your heart upon your bed and be still. And then in brackets it's put, reflect on your sin and repent of your rebellion. Now obviously those those words aren't there in the uh, in the in the text, but it's just giving you a sense of what may might have been tr been tried to be conveyed in the original language. It's a strong it's a strong phrase that actually conveys a bit more than we would have in our English language. So it does it does that. Um, here's another example here: tremble and do not sin. And uh, so the amplifier is put in brackets: tremble with anger or fear and do not sin. So again, it's, it's trying to uh, give you a little bit extra uh, more than the uh, translation perhaps would allow from the original language. So so there's that, it's giving you uh, that, uh, that thing. And, and, and please do not fill the comment section with, um, you know, with a, a diatribe about uh, about the amplified version, I'm not interested in it. We'll delete those comments straight away. I personally find the amplified extremely helpful. Um, I don't rely on it um, as my only translation, as I've said. I do love my King James version, and that's the version that I tend to read. But I do like to read the amplified side by side with it, or over a period of time, I will I will read it, and I'll certainly read it when I'm studying. Um, the Bible um, in preparation for a meeting or or for um, for some sort of presentation i will I will refer to it here we have the miracles of Jesus, so this is another example of one of the tables you 'll have noticed that it 's all black and white uh, it 's also not a red letter. some people like that some people won 't uh, here we have a map of uh, the visits of Jesus to Jerusalem so again, really nice, helpful little inserts. Uh, into the text where where perhaps you may value them. Um, I was just going to see if there was... Oh, here's another one. Nazareth to Cana and Capernaum. I was just going to see if there was anything about the inter intertestament period. Um, we'll have a quick look. Here we go. Zechariah Malachi. From Malachi to Christ. Okay, so yeah, there is a, there is a little table there. Um... And there, but that's about that's about it. And then we have a New Testament overview, and then we're into Matthew. So I really like this edition. I just I just like it. I, I think it's a valuable study aid. I think it's um, it's very readable. It's very helpful. And uh, it, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to be selling these or anything on the website. But you know, by all means, um, go out uh, and grab a copy if you if you want to, um, and use this to help you in your in your study in the back we have some uh, what's this theological notes index by location I've not really looked into that here's the theological notes index by title oh okay so we've got the notes so if we want to know about falsehood there is a note in genesis 27 18 to 29 obviously that will be uh, jacob uh, where he deceives uh, deceives his father i would have thought so if you go to genesis 27 uh, there's a note there about falsehood. So all of these notes are actually indexed in the back. So that's uh, that's very helpful as well. Um, there's also a topical index. Um, so if you want your topics, here we here we have them all here. Which is there's quite a lot of them in the back. So that's quite uh, that's quite handy. And then I imagine we're going to have um, the maps, and we'll have the map index as well to the maps. And the maps are on cardstock, which is very nice. They're very nice and colourful, well-presented, well-presented maps. So there we have it, the Amplified Study Bible. Uh, personally, big fan. I uh, hope you found that interesting. Maybe you've seen one of these or you've seen one um, going cheap or something. Well, by all means, I would encourage you to pick it, uh, pick one up and give it a try. Um, it's a nice uh, volume, uh, a nice edition there, the Amplified Study Bible. So I hope you found that interesting and informative. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and, uh, and support the channel in that way. It really helps us out. And take care of yourselves. We'll catch up on another video soon. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.